Some love for longevity Before fading to dust Some love for eternal sleep As eulogy chanted by stars If to that serenity Okay. You ready for this shit? Hopefully, Raphael story. last time can you tell me oh my god he dressed up i love this new song that i put here 
It's literally just cutesy, happy version of his main theme song. First time Ocean Emissary. Okay, I can add you. Oh wait, you're already my friend. <laughs> I also got a... I also got to do the weekly stuff too. First, let's do all our daily shit. So just one pursuit here, one pursuit here. Let's do like one pursuit on each of these. Let's finish this one. Two yellows, greens, okay. Wait, level 50? Oh, shit. That said level 50. What in the fuck? Am I strong enough for this? Creation and destruction go hand in hand. Watch out. This one is a handful. I have faith in us. Leave me alone. Is this how people... I hit myself with my own acid. Darn it. Aww, oh my god, I missed like half of that shit. I need you. If that's your wish. Where is it hiding? It can't hide from us. Oh man. Shit. It recovered so fast. Oh. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. My turn. Raphael. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Wait, maybe I could do this, even though it's level 50. What in the hell? Oh, man. That's how OP I am. You recovered so fast. Hurry up. Leave me alone. Is this how people... I hit myself with my own ah. acid. Darn it. There we go. Aw, too bad. Raphael. Yeah. My fleeting inspiration. Let's seize this chance. Did you spot its I feel like I can do this. Where is it? Hiding? He's already at like one it bar left. From us recovered already? How tiresome. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. I fucked it up, yeah, but I feel yeah, like I can actually do this. Good job. It's almost over. Don't let it get away. Oh man, you recovered so fast. I feel like if I didn't fuck it up the first time, I would have did this. Leave me alone. Distance can make. I hit myself with my own acid. Darn it. Oh, this is all yeah. too easy. Not even a challenge. Okay, good. Even though it's at level 50, you were able to do enough damage. I think it's because I have five star memories, so, and I put protocores on them. <laughs> okay, let's do this one now. Destroy Pumpkin Magus's hat bombs. Okay, so we need a lot of blues and reds. Okay, we need... Remove this pink for another red. See, I need Whalefall Lament. That's a red. Bitch, I don't even give a fuck. I feel like I can get... I feel like I can get, uh, what's your call it? 
I feel like I can get a I can get 180 after getting after just spending 45. Cuz I want this one. Just one of these. Cloud secret. You know, you know why I love this memory. Look at, look at how this looks. Look at underwater, beautiful blues everywhere. Like, oh my goodness. This is my favorite red memory right now. Nice, I had enough to get it to 30. This should be enough now. Got my two five stars. Oh, wait, wait, I gotta upgrade this thing. Wait a minute. Oh, I don't got no protocols. What the fuck? Oh, this one's good, though. Let me see if today is the day. Maybe I can get more. That's all I can do for now. go hand in hand it looks so ugly why don't we get creative how dare he call it ugly that's so sad go back to the pit you came from don't be deceived you were too close to it he was just a scratch why don't we get creative sounds like a plan here's our chance so fast. Hey, have you ever heard of a hat trick? There's a bomb. Oh my god, what was that voice? Captain Obvious. Watch out, it's gonna blow. Nope, nope, nope. I oh my god. Roast, here's our chance. Watch out, it's gonna blow. I need you. If that's your wish. Will he keep attacking you the guy, please? Instead of the stupid... 
cats. Oh, my fleeting oh no, I fucked it up. Let's seize this chance. No. I ulted without. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have to retry this. I have to ult only when they're weakened. A flame within a painting burns forever. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. I don't think it's giving up just yet. I'll make it give up. Eat this. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Here's our chance. Raphael. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Good job. Oh man, you recovered so fast. This is way better now. Eat this. Hey, have you ever heard of a hat trick? Can you try pulling a fish out of that hat? Watch out! It's gonna Since fall. Raphael is literally Three, not gonna two, stop. One, run! Don't you think? Okay, good. Why don't we get kill him? Sounds like a plan. He's Here's not gonna stop attacking the hat, so let me just now. My fleeting inspiration. Let's seize this chance. You won't escape. I'm getting the hit. Uh oh, this is kind of getting dangerous. Oh man, you recovered so fast. Yeah, it's because Raphael like forces me to attack hats. I don't think he won't keep attacking the, the main guy. I'll make it give up. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Here's our chance. Eat this. Oh my goodness. Oh man. All oh, right, I can't do that. I'm just a little Covered bit too so weak. Fast. I'll just pursue this. Oh my god, I haven't even tried to do this bitch. Alright, so we just want a bunch of pinks. Because remember, when you stack a bunch of the same color, you get a humongous damage boost. Alright, we got four pinks. Currently 20% increased damage. Insufficient stamina. Alright. forever can we throw it in why don't we get creative sounds like a plan here's our chance my turn where is it hiding it can't hide from us 
I'll show you. Oh man, he recovered so fast. Here's our chance. Time to sleep. Fish can blow bubbles too. You were too close, oh man. He recovered so fast. My God, who cares about the bubbles? Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Here's our chance. Oh my God, will you just kill him? With that done, my inspiration is rare. Okay, good. Everything will turn to ashes. Watch out. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. I need you. Oh my god. Fish. Why do they even have a next button? That goes without setting up your colors. Like when you press next, it should go into this the window that lets you like choose your colors. Because you see this, I need two purples. Let me show you what the art of combat is. <laughs> Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Here's our chance. I need you. If that's your wish. Eat this. Don't be poor, oh, man. You recovered so fast. Here's our chance. Raphael. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Oh, Good not job. him pushing it out of my ult, my AoE. Steady now. We can do this. Good time. It's time to sleep. It's a sleep just like that? Here's our chance. Bring it on. Did you spot his weakness? I don't think it's giving up just yet. Oh, man. We recovered so fast. It's almost over. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Here's our chance. I need you. This is oh. all too easy. Not even. Why don't we get creative? I like that this is just a uh, one Here's ability shield bird. I need you. If that's your wish. Go back. Oh man. You recovered so fast. Where is it hiding? It can't hide from us. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Here's our chance. Bring it on. Raphael. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Good job. What? Oh, man. You recovered so fast. Three, two, one, dodge. Raphael. Just a Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Here's our chance. My turn. Raphael. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Good job. Oh my god. Oh man. You recovered so fast. This is so annoying. You won't escape. I don't think it's giving up just yet. I'll make it give up. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Here's our chance. My fleeting inspiration. Let's seize this chance. 
I'm getting the hang of it. Be careful. Does it hurt? This is not. Are you still holding on? Yeah, I can't do it. You were too. Oh man, <laughs> you recovered so fast. Oh my god. Come on. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Here's our chance. Like, if I had a, a unit that could do, like, AoE to the whole, like, map, this would be fun, but since I don't, it's just annoying killing the bubbles. Whatever. Let's go on. Pretty sure I finished my dailies. Oh my god, I got a golden magnet? I got a golden magnet from a normal magnet? Fucking Zane. One core hunt, one deep space trial. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Why does this look crazy? Okay, level 30. Oh, you get wishes from this. Pink and purple. Flame within a painting burns forever. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Stay alert. I kind of have to get used to pistols because I believe Raphael's special also, weapons are pistols. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Here's our chance. You were too close to it. Did you spot its weakness? Oh man, it recovered so fast. Back up. Let's see what trick it has up its sleeve. I'll show you. Hey, watch your step. It's almost over. Don't let it get away. With that done, my inspiration is raring to go. About time I get some exercise. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Here's our chance. Did you spot its weakness? Raphael. With that done. Wait, that was so fucking easy. What in the hell? <laughs> I 
Those are the balls. Everything will turn to ashes. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. I'm getting the hang of that. I will feel the fatal blow. Where is it hiding? It can't hide from us. You're good. Bring it on. With that done, my inspiration is rare. I'm looking to get Deep Sea Promise today, hopefully. If I get enough diamonds and wishes. Quiz with a prize. What's inside the cloud? <laughs> What's the prize? Tell me what the prize is first. Yeah, but it's only 1500 for 10 pulls. And I have, a, I have 1170 right now. Actually, 30 push it pulls. <laughs> Wait, did I do the the fucking this thing? I didn't do this thing yet. Oh. Wait, I should do this. The five dollar thingy. Give me a second. This is like the Woken Pass in Genshin. And since I plan to play this game a lot, I might as well just have the thing where I log in. Pass rewards, I get even bonus shit. Free retro check in. Six out of six. So I think tomorrow I can get extra diamonds. I think I'm gonna wait until it gets to 20 and then I can do retro. To just keep getting 20, I think. Oops. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. I don't know what the hell... Wait, 18? What are we on? 
We're on the 23rd. Oh, that's what's happening. <laughs> So um, we're on the 23rd, so. Two, two, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna miss like 20 crystals. Checked in for 17 days. I could technically retro this, get five crystals. Because I need to get 25, so... 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, so I should, I should be able to get this. <sighs> By just logging in every day. Shopping with you tires my eyes out. I feel the same way. Sometimes you'll notice some weird imagery and then just freeze on the spot. I, well, it goes both ways. You fixate on any potential threats so your eyes dart this way and that. My eyes were telling me how tired they are. Think of it as an exercise for your eyes. My pupil's range of movement has increased. It was like a marathon because of you. Today was a good day. Let's shop another way next time. Another way? Yeah, one in which I can keep track of your movements without making my eyes tired. Okay, boing little fish. Try using a new speech bubble. The color scheme is nice. Oh, look at that. Why don't we try it on? Mm, looks good. Kitty, so annoying. <laughs> okay. I think we can get 10 pulls right now. Try it out. Come on, Deep Sea Promise. Give me a five star right now. No. Give me the missing four stars on Raphael. something at least. Ooh. What the hell? The hell is this shit? How do I get purple hard sand? Really? I can't get anything good with the blue heart stand? Heart stand? Fuck you. So I have to fully rank up four stars before I can even get wishes out of here. Is this a new thing? I feel like I don't remember this... This setting here. Oh, 
Huh. Like, this looks like computer settings. How would Ultra even run on my computer? I mean, on my phone. Let's see this. Current settings may cause device overheating or game lag. Notice any difference? Oh, I can gift. It's time for something fun. Don't blink. Doesn't it look like that little red fish you gave me? Oh, I love it. Let it hang out with you for a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna close this to see, like, if it changes anything. Some love for longevity Before fading to dust Like, I have it on Ultra? Some love for so let's see if the game looks crazy. The sun is so bright today. I feel like a fish that's being fried. It doesn't look that different to me, right? Like, I have this on Ultra. Alright, so we'll keep this off for a while and see what happens. Spend 10,000 diamonds. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you know, like, you know, <laughs> this is Raphael. <laughs> it says moonlight under sea, like, I see water everywhere. Finally, oh my god, I've been waiting forever. Thanks to Xavier temporarily synchronizing our access privileges, I'm able to use the highest ranked database in the Hunters Association. After spending most of the day searching, a news article from two years ago catches my eye. Located in the heart of Lincoln City, a man in his 50s was murdered in a luxurious apartment. The killer has never been caught. All the evidence points to Anikinus, but it's still not enough to be certain. An unsolved case. If Anikinus is the culprit, then they're clearly able to man manipulate the media, but they didn't. Maybe they're trying to send a message. Even though the association blocked all insider channels, there are some encrypted ones. For a small fee, a person can locate the source. Hi. All I got is a single crime scene photo and a bad audio clip. You still want them? Yeah. Why are you looking into any kindness? Got a score to settle? Isn't there a policy about not asking about the past? 
Okay, user has sent a photo and audio file. After they are open, both will be automatically deleted once three minutes have passed. Accept. The photo finishes downloading. It takes up the entire screen. There's a room filled with classical furniture. An untouched bottle of expensive wine sits on the nightstand. It appears its owner died before he could have a chance to celebrate. Wearing a bathrobe, a man lies motionless by the door. The intricately embroidered carpet beneath him is soaked in dark red blood. A wisp of smoke slowly spirals out from the bullet hole in his chest, like a crimson carnation blooms from his blood-soaked shirt. The photo was apparently taken just before the feed was cut, but no weapons or traces were left behind at the crime scene. The police investigation reveals that, aside from the victim, there were three other individuals. How do they know? The recording had the sounds of footsteps from two people, along with a conversation. Who was the victim? They say he's an important researcher for Evers... Evers? Biopharmaceutical Company. Have you ever heard of Ever before? They're a well-known name. Anikinus wouldn't leave behind an obvious trail. They must have done it intentionally to warn or threaten certain individuals. After thinking about it some more, I decide to play the audio file again. <laughs> you don't even know what I'm talking about. Well, you won't have to worry about it now. <laughs> what the fuck? I keep replaying the clip over and over, trying to etch his etch this voice into my memory. As my cursor is about to click the X in the top right hand hand corner, a new message stops me. Are you interested in the N109 zone? Because you're looking for work. A new bounty has been put up. Want to take a look? Let me earn that ref referral payment. Who's the target? Who's the target? I want to think about it first. Oh my god! Oh my god! They're trying to kill my man? Oh my god. I need to bodyguard him, what the fuck? After seeing the photo, a chill runs down my spine. The person in the photo is Raphael. Oh hell no! Get the hell away from my man! The fuck? Oh my goodness. Raphael's front door is slightly open, similar to how it, it was during my last visit. A sliver of light peeks through the gap. I gently push the door and watch my steps. Sculptures, easels, and art supplies are everywhere. Raphael is on the floor. He's not moving. What? Raphael! Oh, you fucking bitch. I quickly approach him and lean down, our faces a breath apart. Raphael's expression is peaceful, as if he's lost in a dream. I put my finger near his nose and feel his soft breath against my skin. He's still alive. A breeze passes the white curtains by the window and litters the floor with sheets of drawing paper. I bend down to pick one up. Some of the messy sketches depict splendid architecture, others surging waves. Some sketches are so abstract that I can't tell what they are. They do share one thing in common, however. Written on the bottom right hand corner is a tiny word, Lemuria. Huh? Still sleepy, he looks my way with a half-lidded gaze. I step back and knock over a pot filled with brushes. Liquid spills, lush green trees, blue skies, and white clouds from outside reflected on its surface. You're here? Respond. Raphael, are you okay? After staring at me for a long time, Raphael suddenly moves his head and holds out his hand. What are you doing? Pull me up. Can't you do it yourself? Hurry. Help me get off the floor. 
Help him, bitch. The moment I take his hand, Raphael yanks me down. You! You're really nice. You worry about my well-being and even accompany me to lunch. So, did you see anything suspicious? Everyone was staring at the haphazard haphazardly parked sports car outside. Isn't it awesome? My car installation art. It's one of a kind. Now what? There's a crowd swarming your car. How can we leave? Having a bunch of people is the best cover. If anything dangerous shows up, we ditch the car and sprint through the back door. It's like vanishing into thin air. I take a deep breath to calm myself. You already knew the people in the N109 zone were targeting you? Yeah, it's a long story. But to make a long story short, someone in the N109 zone wanted me to paint a painting, and I told them... Okay. No. Out of nowhere, Raphael pulls out a carbon fiber pen, smooths out a napkin on the table, and starts doodling. They want to kill you over a painting. Is your art really that special? Well, yeah. They discovered the secret message in my painting, which would lead them to their heart's desire. I haven't seen many of Raphael's paintings, but the one at Raymond's house left a lasting impression on me. I recall my memories of the la that time and realize an important clue. Is what they're after related to the illusion in your painting? His pen stops moving, and it, it creates a large blot of ink on the napkin. An illusion? What did you see? What, now we're gonna talk about this? I saw a young girl on the beach. She was singing a song I didn't understand. It sounded sad. Is the painting special because you used the coral stone from that day? Yup. I heard it's kinda rare. It was found near the bottom of the ocean, in a place called Lemuria. That location is brimming with rare treasures. Even a tiny bit of coral can make you feel like you're in a world of dreams. If you grind the coral stone into pigment, you can immerse the viewer in a pretty dream created by the artist. He speaks of this crazy story, but his voice doesn't waver. He seems to be telling the truth. I have no choice but to hide my skepticism. Bitch. Raphael twirls his pen between his fingers, then looks into my eyes. Anyway, guess you're not here because you're concerned about my safety, yeah? Raphael, you have a bounty on your head from the N109 zone. That means you, you've heard about it before. I need to go there and find something. It's really important. Aside from barging in, I don't know how to enter that place. My hint is as clear as day, but after giving it some thought... Raphael shakes his head. His expression is one of nonchalance. Lincoln has become even more dangerous, and now you're talking about entering a labyrinth? Forget about it. A hunter like you just going in there is like a lamb walking into a tiger's den. His words leave me disheartened, but he isn't wrong. Since you're safe and sound, I'll get going. Just as I'm about to get up from my chair, Raphael grabs my hand. Wait. Huh? Someone's following us. Raphael loosens his grip. He speaks as he sets down his pen and pushes a napkin towards me. With a few strokes, he sketches a layout of the restaurant on, on it. A man wearing a black jacket sits behind us to the right. He's slouching perfectly hidden behind a potted plant. He's already here? Not sure. But since he's acting all shady... He's definitely not one of my fans. I raise my arm and activate the watch on my wrist. A palm-sized holographic map appears before Raphael and me. We'll sneak out from the back, run through the mall, and exit on the north side. Then we'll circle around until we reach an alley behind the flower shop. You know, you're a really good hunter. When you see the big pic picture, you need to use some bait. I look up noting the, the passing crowd reflected in the window. A group of high school students who just got off school trickled through the door. 
It's time. Damn it! How did he manage to slip away again? Hey. Who are you? Lacks a weapon and any sort of defensive gear. Aside from pretending to act tough, he's not trained. If he's a professional hitman, he's really, really pathetic. It could all be an act, you know. Knocking him down in one fell swoop. Wanna do an encore? Middle-aged man wearing a mask is huddled in the corner, his body shaking as he hears those words. He's the epitome of anxiety. I, I'm not a murderer. I'm just a guy trying to get a scoop. As the man struggles, a piece of paper slips out from his chest pocket. Raphael picks it up, blows out the dirt, and holds it towards the sunlight. A reporter from Weekly Arts. Oh, God. Joe. You know them? A second-rate art magazine. They scrape by on tidbits they pry from socialites and artists. Oh, my God. He notices something. His gaze moves down as he takes a weird-looking button from the man's shirt. This hidden camera wasn't cheap, right? A tiny flame bursts from Raphael's fingers. It turns the button into ash. Is there anything newsworthy about me to grace your journalism? L listen to me. Whatever you do, please don't hurt me. Uh, it it's because the collector, Raymond! He's dead. The air is still for a moment. Shocked, Raphael and I exchange a glance. Maybe it's because we're entering his field of expertise that Joe straightens his posture. He wipes the dirt from his face. A spark of excitement is in his eyes. The thrill of discovering gossip. He died last night. Drowned in his bathroom. No one knew until the next day when the butler found him. Wait, isn't was Raymond the art guy that we went that we found the painting from? Like we went to his house to get the painting, right? So now he's drowned in a bathtub. Was Raymond attacked by wanderers? No, they should be long gone by now. Why would wanderers drown him in a bathtub? Come on. The police already searched his home and looked through the surveillance tapes. They found nothing. <laughs> Not even another person walking into his room, but... Cut to the chase. The picture painted by Raphael had vanished from his collection room. Wow. I've heard the rumors. Some say that before he died, he made a bunch of cuts into his arms what the and fuck? legs. His skin looked like a bunch of fish scales. It's awful, if I do say so myself. This is the guy who was obsessed with mermaids and had like a mermaid ske skeleton in his house. In the moment a rich guy is dead, the police are quick to cover it up. They're scared a secret will be revealed, one that will cost them their jobs. But there's no such thing as a secret that can't be hidden. Uh, Mr. Raphael, are you sure you didn't have a hand in his death? Oh my god. Can your painting actually manipulate people? Even if they did, I wouldn't tell you. Also, you said he died last night. I was in my studio during that time and didn't go anywhere. Anywhere. But I do agree it's a tragedy. Or are you saying you want to ask Raymond himself? No, oh my god. No, no <laughs> not at all. I, I don't. I told you everything I know. Can you please let me go this time? Sure, sure. I'll even throw in something extra for you. Tomorrow, I'll be instructing my agent to lodge a complaint about your deplorable stalking behavior to your superiors and cancel our exclusive column interview. I reckon you'll be jobless soon. Oh my god, Raphael's a savage, what the fuck? Raphael speaks in a relaxed manner. He leans in a radiant smile plastered on his face. He leans in, a radiant smile plastered on his face. So... Why don't you do me a favor and investigate who's trying to hide all that info you just talked about? Damn! Under the waves. Oh my god, I can't wait.
A swarm of white moths dance around the streetlight under the gray sky, waiting for nightfall. We climb the stone steps to a garden in the sky. Below us is Lincoln's liveliest district. A field of grass stretches out before us. It's flanked by trees from both sides, a vibrant sight to behold. Across the street is a floating holographic ad. Flying above the cityscape, it promotes Raphael's art expedition for next month. A slight blue sea engulfs the city like like a mist cascading onto the towering skyscrapers. From buildings to traffic, all is submerged in the tide. While it's obviously a trick of the light, curious people can't help but stop and reach out to touch the swimming fish that pass them. You know what sells the most? Paintings of a calm sea. They can get pretty expensive. The more violent and chaotic the ocean, the less people are interested in it. Humans can't sense disasters like animals do, so we subconsciously distance ourselves from things like bad weather. From your last exhibit exhibition, you told me the paintings was from one of your dreams. I stare at the virtual sea of fish swimming, merging into the night sky. It's unsettling, yet alluring, as the line between dreams and reality is blurred. Is this another one of your dreams? Yep. You got that right. I daydream in my studio all the time. It's kind of hard to remember what the real world's like. Thanks for bringing me out of my dreams today. You're welcome. A long time passes before he turns around. Many pedestrians are still looking at the sky, mesmerized by the holographic sea. Do you have any plans? I'm going home. The art exhibition needs to be held. Once a painting is sold, another should take its place. Be careful out there. If you find any secrets or hear anything about the N109 zone, let me know. Brushing off the grass clinging to my clothes, I stand up and say goodbye. But I still don't have the paint needed to finish the piece I'm working on. Raphael sits up, his eyes sparkling as he looks at me. I have a bad feeling about this. Don't you remember our deal? <laughs> the bodyguard. <laughs> what? I saw how you fought, quick and precise. That final strike was unlike anything I've seen before. If you could be my bodyguard. Mm -hmm. Protect me on our journey together. If we find an alternative, I'll happily give you what's in my hand right now. <laughs> uh, That look. You forgot, huh? Don't worry. I wrote down everything. We'll be fine. Probably. I've got stuff to deal with in the next couple of days, but I promise to get to it. I say a half-hearted promise and I'm ready to run when I hear a soft sigh from him. I have an idea on how we can sneak into the N109 zone. You do? Why is my character so selfish? My character doesn't give a fuck about anything <laughs> but just doing her mission. He has my attention. I move closer to listen. Raphael quickly averts his eyes, clearly caught off guard. You said it yourself. When you see the big picture, you need to use some bait. Huh. Why not come up with a master plan? Become the best bait for Anakinus. So I should use myself to lure them out? He nods and continues to speculate. To be their target, you must have something they want. Like info or something. You can decide whether to take the risk or not. Maybe a small opening is all it will take to get them to expose themselves. Every word that Raphael says isn't wrong. I bite my lip. Even so, we need to find the perfect sp fishing spot to make sure our big fish bites the hook. I can lead you there. Trade intel for intel. Gamble to make gambles with higher stakes. But whether or not you can play the game is up to you. 
He once again stares at the sea of cars. Car lights under the overpass. Like the receding tide, the holograms fade and reveal the secret. I need to think about it. It's just a suggestion. The choice is yours. If you want to do it, meet me tomorrow by the docks at White Sand Bay. After a night's worth of hesitation, I arrive at White Sand Bay the next morning. By the docks is a familiar figure, the manager I met at Flux Arts the other day. Ah, good to see you again, Miss Hunter. Hello, Mr. Thomas. No reason to be so formal. Call me Thomas. Raphael does it. I knew you'd show up. Raphael walks over, arms folded, and plants himself between me and Thomas. Don't forget your promise. I'm not the kind of person to just forget. You two get along well. I'm glad Raphael has a reliable friend such as yourself. Stop treating her like she's my babysitter. I'll protect him, at least for today. But what are we supposed to do now? Both turn in the direction that I'm pointed at, pointing in. A single wooden boat floats gently to the rhythm of tranquil waves. A few seagulls are perched on the bow, preening their feathers. Are we smuggling ourselves in? Hold on. Didn't you ask me for a boat so you could go on a date? Huh? <laughs> Did you? So you could go on a date? <laughs> yeah, a date. Okay, so... Let's see, I was gonna look something up for something. What was I gonna do? Because... I feel like I was gonna do so. Oh my god, I was waiting for the, the, the cutscene to end for me to do something and I just completely forgot. There's so many of these things. Cook a perfect dinner with him. That's the secret time we gotta do eventually. Then we got all these fucking memories to go through. I forgot what I was going to do. I'm so sad. I'd say the wait was worth it. With winds at about 10 miles per hour and no big waves, it's a good day to set sail. Since heading out to sea is a daunting task, shouldn't we... use something a little more advanced? Like a speedboat? We're always cooped up in the house painting and stuff. Let's take this chance to exercise. We're in the same boat now. It's time to tell me what's next. Don't overthink it. You're just gonna do what you normally do. Fight. That's Hat Island. It's having unusual energy fluctuations, and a weird wanderer appeared. You're interested in wanderers? Their protocors contain an extremely rare material. I need to get my hands on it. I'll use it to make paint and create some art, as one does. Really? Protocors can be used for painting? I'm not a three-year-old. 
clear. The is literally right there, but we've been rowing for 30 minutes and still no signs of land. Are you rowing around in circles? I'm definitely trying to move this boat along, but you keep rowing us back. That explains why we've been going in circles. Oh my god. This oar is just being mean. I'm getting tired of this. Can we ditch the boat and swim instead? Swim? Raphael, the waves. They're heading straight for us. Was the weather forecaster slacking off today? Left, left. Hurry. Water spilling the boat. Steady now. Is he gonna have to swim us? I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh my god. Oh, we just gonna skip. Okay. I think I hired an assassin instead of a bodyguard. Uh, the world is spinning like. Uh, He's so dramatic. Stop mumbling to yourself. If it weren't for me, we'd still be in the ocean right now. Uh, I'd rather float in the sea than be on land. Everything looks okay. I don't see any wanderers around. Your skills will be useful. Let's go. This island isn't small and we have a full day ahead of us. Uh, you're fine now? Why are you in a hurry? The mountain. We'll start there. But yeah, I think- oh. Hard working bitch please. I think I want the medium stuff. Because I didn't notice too much of a difference and I think it would just be safer. see any signs of life. I remember visiting this place as a kid while on a field trip. A field trip? What's that? You've never been on one before? Children line up with their bags filled with all sorts of snacks. And of course we wrote a travel log and... Wow, you were all brave kids to visit places like these. I'm impressed. More than a decade has passed change is inevitable the resonance is weak and the watch isn't detecting anything it's possible wanderers aren't involved your little watch thing doesn't seem to work that well where's the coral stone huh so what are you planning to use your blood again or like you can use your evil the coral stone is from this water if you notice something weird it might be tainted with the same kind of metaflux Use your evil to resonate with it. Creating a similar signal might just be good enough to lure them out. Try? Sending out a signal. Got it. <sighs> the fluctuation is faint. I can barely sense it. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you could crack open nuts using that much strength. Please don't destroy my last sample. Then... <laughs> You're not in an arm wrestling match. Let's do this together. All right. Close your eyes. Focus all your senses on your hands. Well, can you feel a warm power surging within you? Everything in this world has a unique, unmatchable frequency. That's why each life is isolated. But your evil allows you to change your frequency. You can resonate with others. If you open your heart, you can establish a connection. What the fuck is all this that he's... And share your power. Really? If you believe. Uh... Oh my God. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're having a okay, moment. I'll try it. Is it over? 
I guess, yes? <clears throat> well, that was quite the spectacle. It was your idea. <sighs> if we don't catch any fish, is the bait at fault? All right, I guess I was wrong. Tapping into the depths of someone's evil isn't easy. <gasps> Something reacted. I did a pretty good job, huh? Don't you think? You're even better than I expected. Here we go. Oh my god, it's a Naga. I love these things. Oh my god, they're just gonna give me some random bullshit. Oh, but I have a staff. They actually gave me a staff. I wonder if they'll ever give us like an option to choose who we want in these story fights. About time I get some exercise. It's up to you now, Miss Bodyguard. I'll show you. My turn. I'm getting the hang of this. Three, two, one, dawn. Stay alert. I was just careless. You were too close to it. I need you. If that's your wish. It's up to you now, Miss Bodyguard. I'll show you. Just a scratch. I'll be fine. My turn. Eat this. It's almost over. Don't let it get away. Don't push yourself too hard. My turn. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Good job. I'll show you. It's up to you now, Miss Bodyguard. I'll show you. Back up. Let's see what trick it. Are you still holding on? You're good. Come on. Keep up with me. We'll do this together. Go back to the pit you came from. You were too close to it. Not even a challenge. Weak feeds. <laughs> the lag is coming. The road ahead will be difficult. Take this and keep working hard. I didn't think resonating with the coral stone would attract wanderers. If we can't find what I'm looking for, consider it practice. Anyway, let's set up camp for tonight. They came back. Oh, no, 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 no. Is it a wanderer? Even worse, a monster. Oh, a cat? It's he so does cute. He doesn't like cats, are you serious? Oh my god. No, you're safe. You're oh not my. here for the coral stone, are you? Oh my god. Hmm? Why are you over there? It won't eat you. There's no way. Stay back. Cats <gasps> are oh my god. With their harmless appearances and play with their prey at whim. I don't like them. How dare you? Rather than dislike them, I'd say you're more afraid of them. Uh, isn't that right, Raphael? Nope, I just don't care. I don't care about cats at all. Oh my god, you it's fucking hurt. bitch. Look, something's off about its injury. Whoa, stay back. You're not allowed near me after touching that. You have to choose, me or the cat. How dare you? <gasps> oh. It understood what I, I guess I'm switching to Zane. Look normal. Maybe wanderers are involved. Cause Zane likes cats. Check it out. Uh, you know, you don't have to be that observant. <laughs> How dare he hate cats? Why is he so fucking scared? What the fuck? How dare he?
He needs We're to get over that cat shit. Cat's home, right? That little monster is obviously trying to get some affection. Don't waste time. <laughs> Look. <sighs> A wanderer attacked it. Aww. What happened? Don't touch it. Oh, your hand. Something is coming from the deep. What the fuck is happening? Oh my god, Leviathan out of nowhere. Okay. His flame can split the water? <laughs> Guess you like my blood a lot more, huh? His blood. Sorry to break it to you, but my fire can never be extinguished. What the fuck? What? I still don't understand why is he fire when he's obsessed with water. I didn't expect Raphael's blood to draw Deluge Wormlord out. What secret is his blood holding? Well, no time to think about that now. aren't just for painting. Retreat for now. It's up to you now, Miss Bodyguard. I'll show you. I, I love this creature, by the way. Raphael. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Good job. It's up to you now, Miss Bodyguard. Here's our chance. You were too close to it. I'm getting the hang of it. Oh man, you recovered so fast. What? Oh, there's no way in hell I just missed. Retreat for now. We'll beat it up later. Ethan! Are you still holding on? It's up to you now, Miss Bodyguard. I'll show you. I was just careless. Stay alert. Now, just a scratch. I'll be fine. It's almost over. It's up to you now, Miss Bodyguard. Here's our chance. No, no, old sense, bitch. Come on, keep up with me. We'll do this together. This is all too easy. Not even a. So he hates cats and then we we play the fucking kitty cafe shit. That's that's kinda ironic. How did we end up in the ocean? Oh my god, yes, Merman Raphael, come out. Where's Raphael? Stay back. Otherwise, I can't guarantee your safety. What the hell? What about you? What are you doing? <laughs> It's settled then. If you don't return, I'll... I'll chase you to the ends of the earth. Huh? Oh. 
Wait, he was just gonna leave me? The fuck? Girl, don't be lagging on this beautiful moment. You forgot everything, yet you still insist. What? All right. This is your choice. Oh my god, what? Oh my god. Oh my god! The game crashed. <laughs> I gotta see that again. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did he just turn into a merman, bitch? Wait a minute. <laughs> he fucking could have handled it. God. Oh my god. <laughs> Let me get back to that moment. Wait a minute. I gotta take a screenshot of him as a merman. Oh my god. Why is my phone struggling right now? How did a mobile game crash like a cloudier over here? Which <laughs> How long has this bitch been here? What the fuck? Okay. A reunion always happens when you least expect it. Okay, here we go. Indomitable spirit. I gotta fuck it. I gotta take a picture again of him as a merman. How did we end up in the ocean? Raphael! Right now, this is my favorite cutscene. It better not lag. And do you notice they said something like some weird shit's going on? Like, stay back. Otherwise, uh, I can't guarantee your safety. What about you? What are you doing? Like, like he knows me or something. <laughs> Not your concern. <laughs> like, look at this. This seems like a memory. It's settled then. If you don't return, I'll... You see this? I'll chase you to the ends of the earth. Like, remember that story he told about he met a lady and then... I don't know. Hmm. Oh. I know, why? What the fuck? You saw that red fish sign? You forgot everything, yet you still insist. You forgot everything. All right. This is your choice. Okay, he's growing his fucking... Yes, bitch. Why does this game give main character... Main character vibes? What do you mean? Oh my goodness. So they're just gonna end it like that?
flame within a painting burns forever. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Here's our chance. I need you. If that's your wish. You won't escape. Oh man, it recovered so fast. Here's our chance. My turn. Did you spot its weakness? Why are you getting closer to it? Come back here. Oh man, it recovered so fast. It's almost over. Don't let it get up. Here's our chance. I'll show you. Don't underestimate the power of fire. With that done, my inspiration is raring. Oh yeah, cloud. By the by the way, I uh, I uninstalled the ascended survival ascended whatever the fuck because what's the point of playing it when it's laggy? Uh, I can't even use my crocodile army underwater or any of that other shit. So I reinstalled survival evolved. So I can play my old save. So we're back on my uh, original little base and everything in the swamp. Yeah, I, I just reinstalled Evolved because it runs way better and the new one is not even like up to the same standard as Evolved right now. Like, it's missing a bunch of shit, it has a bunch of bugs and whatever. Hopefully they'll fix it at some point. Because I would love to play it. Hey, three purple, what the fuck? Probably. Flame within a painting burnt. We're fighting the lose worm lord again. Retreat for now. What the fuck? Beat we'll it up later. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Go back to the pit you. Hey, oh, bitch! How dare you? Careless. Why are you so far away? Every time I use the guns, I feel like my character just gets so Why far don't away. Get creative. Plan. Here's our chance. I need you. If that's your wish. You oh man. You recovered so fast. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna retry because I can't be wasting time like that. Everything will turn to act.
Keep your distance from it. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Yeah, this is a big one. Be careful. This Ew. This is nothing. Stop Why running away, bitch. Come back here. I'm getting closer to it because I heal, bitch. Get creative. Sounds like a plan. Here's our chance. I need you. If that's your wish. I'll show you. Don't underestimate them. Oh man. You recovered so fast. Dodging is also an art. Why are you so far away? What the fuck? Follow me. Why he moves around so damn much? About time I get some exercise. Keep your distance from it. Be careful. Does it hurt? Why don't we get creative? Sounds oh my like god. Uh, currently Brandon has watched more hours of my stream than you, uh, and he's like a newer, a newer viewer, but like he's been in these streams for so fucking long, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> like, I've had like a full like week of eight hour streams and he's been in like the entirety of that. Just a scratch. I'll be fine. Which is kind of crazy. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Here's our chance. You were too close to it. Raphael. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Good job. Steady now. We can do this. What the fuck is this bullshit? This bitch keeps dodging the shit. Creation and destruction going. Retreat for now. We'll beat it up. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Follow me. And let's stop. Be careful. Does it hurt? This is nothing. Oh my god. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Be deceived. Am I supposed to be cheering to that on or something? I need you. If that's your wish. Oh, man. You recovered so fast. Eat it. About time I get some exercise. Retreat for now. We'll beat it up. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Watch out. Why are you getting closer to it? Come back here. Raphael. Just a scratch. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Here's our Raphael. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Good job. You were too close to it. You recovered so fast. Oh my god. Where is it hiding? It can't hide from us. Yeah, it's fine. It's just, I'm just saying if we're going to talk about like certain things. <laughs> He's he's just he's been like the only viewer for a long time now. Now I would love if you continue to keep watching and you know you can talk with Brandon and we have like more than one person in the live chat. <laughs> Mm. 
but I might not always be playing Ark, and I know that's what you're mainly here to watch. Creation and destruction go hand in hand. Keep your distance from it. Why don't we get creative? Come yeah, your fight. only competitor, yeah. Follow me, and let's stop it. Before Brandon came here, he, he was uh, in a lot of the streams. Where is it hiding? It can't hide from us. You were too close. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Here's our chance. Uh, a long time ago, I used to do more uh, arc streams because I really didn't want to stream Overwatch too much. I'm so mad. I'm just so mad at this shit. He literally does that animation and then he can't be hit. And I'm tired of fucking refreshing this over and over. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Keep your distance from it. Now! Why don't we get creative? Oh, thank God. Sounds like a plan. Here's our chance. My fleeting inspiration. Let's seize this chance! This is gonna be really, really, really fucking close. You spot its weakness? Well, if I had an empty stream, I would I wouldn't stream. I'm only streaming because people actually come. If people didn't come, I would just do videos and that's it. I don't think it's giving up just yet. I'll make it give up. Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. You were too close to it. Eat this. Oh my god, wait, I can actually do this. How tiresome. This bitch just dodged it again. What the fuck? I'm so mad. Good job. Be careful. Does it hurt? Dodging is also an art. So why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Retreat, just a scratch. Yes. Be fine. Well, I do have on the title Variety Gaming, so... Why don't we get creative? Sounds like a plan. Here's a chance. Not bad for a creative endeavor. It was similar when I was playing Ark. You know, I'm known for Overwatch, but then they click and see Ark, they're like, what the fuck is this? I also play Warhammer, I also play... MMOs, I play, Bitch, I play all games. Okay, we're finally done here. 51 is when I can finally continue. <laughs> okay, I think tomorrow I'll do the kitty cat stuff. It's tomorrow's Sunday, right? Yeah. So tomorrow I'll do the weekly shit, because it's the last day.
I don't know if I want to do an easy cave. We'll see. Because whenever I do anything, everybody just fucking dies constantly. I just lose every single dino, I lose all my shit. Okay, so anyway, uh, I gotta think about what I was gonna do. First of all, where the hell is this easy cave anywhere? Is it anyway? Is it anywhere close to where I'm at? Yeah, I actually gave him a tour of the whole base and everything yesterday. You don't know where I'm at on the map. You, the the Ark Pro, doesn't know. I'm literally at this eastern part. You see that water? Like, under the mountain, you see how there's like a fucking peninsula-looking ass thing? That's where my base is. Did you turn off glare? I don't know. I think glare is on. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's on. Anyway. I think I was, uh, so many birds you don't remember? I have the pelican army.
need to get to 300 weight on my dove. Oh my god. What the fuck? I love how I'm just on top of them, what the fuck? Hella can't. Not a twin. Why is that picture so tiny? That is so far away. That's next to my old base in my uh my husband's world. Excuse me? There would be so much more birds if Abzu was a good parent. How am I not a good parent? Excuse me? Yeah, but I'm pretty sure I can't bring my bird army into a cave, right? How dare you bring that up again? <laughs> I'm not going to use my berry. It's because in this game, if you don't feed the babies after they hatch, they'll starve to death very quickly. So I left for like two minutes and the egg hatched. And I forgot that the egg was hatching. Oh, that's a berry. Let's lure him away from the water.
For some reason, I have this weird lighting bug right now. That, uh... Every time I open my inventory, it does that weird shit. So that's a new bug that just came out and they're not going to fix it? The bug? So how did the new bug come out in the first place? Yeah, you see how terrible this company is, Brandon? Oh yeah, I remember I caught one of these rockfish. Remember this rockfish? Dunk donkey. This is when I was going underwater a lot. Look how fast I swim, by the way. Oh my god. So here's the thing. For this cave, right? Am I able to... Go in there with a bunch of dinos? Like this Capra army? Okay, so I might bring this then. Kinda like a dungeon. I should put this in my bird. 
biotoxin. It should also be in the bird. I have so much random shit in my inventory. I'm not gonna just tame a random Rex. I don't even have a Spino yet. I only tame dinos that I'm interested in. And how do I tame that thing again? I think I wanted to make a... A, uh, whale. The whale saddle. What the hell is this thing called again? Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. It's called like a bala something. Oh my god. Okay, so you kill one of them and then you use its toxins to make so, what, do you feed the toxin to a dino or something? So I have to go find a freaking bug and kill it. Bacillosaurus, right? Yeah, Bacillosaurus. No, that's not what it is. What the fuck? Whale. Ark. Oh my god. What the hell is the name of this thing? What do you mean the bug can wipe out my entire army? If it's a level 2 bug, it's gonna wipe out my entire army how? So it is a bacillus for us. Like what am I what am I getting into? Arc. Bacillosaurus. Okay. So I need metal ingots and shit. That's what I was doing, I think. I was trying to make a saddle first. 
for this thing. So if I go over there with my giant ass pelican army, they're not going to swarm it? Because remember those di Dimetrodon, what the fuck they're called, little tiny freaks. Okay, so I'll send my pelicans over there. Bacillosaurus. I need... Meadow ingots. 55. I think that's what I was doing. I was trying to get metal. So that I can... Make a saddle for this thing. That's the last thing I was trying to do. Well, these green pelicans, they are worth nothing. I can make a hundred more. The only one that I care about is my white pelican. I don't want my white pelican to die. These guys are all soldiers and they're willing to give their lives for whatever is needed. So I'm going to go to the swamp and see if I can find it. Yeah, this is Dove. I'm still working on increasing the weight capacity. It needs to be at least 300 weight and then I can start working on the stamina. What is the button for looking behind me again? Because I don't want to press a random button and then just die. Okay. Okay. That looks like a fucking... Eldritch Abomination Angel Seraphim Harbinger Life Weaver right there behind me. I wish there was like an easier way that you could just like uh, have a list of your dinos that are next to you and just level them all up. Oh my god, remember Oscar? Okay, I would love if Oscar doesn't die. Wait a minute, I need to feed this... I need fish. Oh, what? the fuck? What? 
Oh my god, I dropped it. What in the world? Oh no. What happened to the fish? I have no idea what just happened to all the fish, but whatever. I pressed O and I feel like that should be on the floor, but then I picked up and I didn't somehow pick it up. Oh my god, all kinds of shit is going on down there. Oh my god, it's fighting a berry. These are the big boy amphibious dinos. Spinos. So all I have to do is kill this thing and it'll just automatically drop that toxin that I need. And this thing can just spawn in, like, any part of the swamp around here, right? What the fuck is that? Sarko, okay. Let's eat some piranhas so we can get some fish. Oh, look, it's a Bigfoot over there. And an axolotl, I think. These are a little rare. I don't like the color, though. Oh my god, do you see that? That evil creature over there? Alpha Carnus Carnal Taurus. Yeah, I wanna avoid fighting that right now. Cause I'm trying to find the bug.
so Cloud hasn't answered any of my questions so far. So I have no idea anything right now. Oh, is that like the Lacaleo? Oh shit, I, I think something just climbed up the tree. I see shit jumping around, I think that's what it is. I said, so all I have to do is just kill the, the bug and it'll drop the thing that I need. And it should be in the swamp next to the redwoods, right? Just somewhere around there. Oh, beehive. Maybe that's what I saw flying around. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a, oh wait, what the fuck? Is that a sloth? Let me see. Oh, there's a, there's a thai, the Thylacaleo thing. Oh, these are bears, yeah. Oh my god! The fucking bears just ate a fucking Thylacaleo. Move! Damn. It's a female and a male. Oh my god, that's so cute. Wait a minute. See, that's how those things look. This is the thing that... It has to be a male bug. Okay. So these are the things that jump on you from trees. So you have to be careful. I want to tame a bear. Do, do, do I need to just feed them meat or do they need like honey or some shit? Some weird shit? And do you know if like they take a normal amount of trank arrows? I don't want to like start doing this and then I get fucked up. There's a male and a female right here. I can start breeding them. So, are you gonna tell me if they need anything special? Like what? <laughs> so they just eat meat, right?
Can they go away? What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Over here, you bitch. Oh no, not the terror bird. You bastard. My bear. I just wasted so many arrows. Ugh. Okay, where the fuck is this bear? Where the fuck is the bear? I wasted so many. I'm, I'm bitching because I have to go make arrows. That's why I'm bitching. Not that I ran out of narcos or anything. How did this bear somehow sneak away? The fuck? Are we serious? Why is this here? Why is this spot right here? Are we for real? Are they really gonna force me to cheat so I can fly out of this? Okay, let me go find this fucking bear.
That thing must have ran away, like, really far. Whatever, I give up. I'm just gonna go kill a bug. I still don't know how these bugs look. I have never seen them. So, I don't know how horrifying this is gonna be. All I'm picturing is like a really big bug. I just saw a random circle egg. Trust me, you will, you will know when you see it. Oh god. So like, are they super rare? Okay, not that rare, but rare. So I should be able to find one if I look around everywhere. Most it will take 30 minutes, alright. Let's see. Well, I'm not gonna attack it myself. I'm just gonna fly around. Also, do remember that all the shit that's in my world is like level two. So it's gonna be a lot weaker than something you're used to. Another berry. Oh god, a leech.
Okay, let's take a rest for a second. Because I need to remove some damn... I need to remove some damn leeches. Which one of these freaks has a leech on him? Okay, there's one more leech now. Ay ay ay. Hell, I can't. Uh, it's not on Dove. I remember I saw, like, the green ones that were swimming next to me, they they started to get leeches on them. I've taken two off already. There's one last one that I need to get rid of. And I think it's one of these bitches up here. I'm trying to look for someone who's bloody. Oh my god. Get the hell away from that. And I really... I really don't want to make them all sit down and then make them follow again. That would be annoying. Let me see. Maybe... Wait, this guy right here. No. Maybe I can, like... Whistle all stop. And then I can whistle all follow afterwards. Oh, here it is. 
Jesus Christ. Finally. Okay, good. That made it so much easier. <sighs> I want to be like jump scared by this big ass bug. I'm expecting something horrifying. some more capros. Let's just go kill them right now. That is getting nighttime. I think, though, on this one, the setting should be that nighttime is pretty fast. Hopefully. Let me get ready to repair this shit. I need some wood. Oh my god, a fucking leech. Please tell me it's undead. It's not. Oh my god. Which one of you freaks have a leech? Wait, not stone. I need wood. There we go. Oh good, thank god I found it. Can they just stop flying around? Kinda scared. Look at how fucking pitch black it gets. Oh god, not a leech again. I see leeches in the water. Okay, I killed it. Oh my god. Now my bird's gonna fall asleep. Uh oh.
Uh oh. How many fucking snakes are gonna be everywhere? Yeah, my bird's asleep. Jesus Christ. Well. We're gonna be here for a while. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick and hopefully I don't die. Oh, we got two fainted guys right now. Alright, so... We're going to be waiting here for a while because these people are unconscious. I'm going to go to the bathroom and hopefully I don't die. Are you serious? I'm flying over there. I don't give a fuck. I ain't gonna fucking deal with this bullshit. I'm just gonna fly straight over there. My god. Oops, am I recording? I just started recording. It's really fucking dark. Here we are. Yeah, so that's what a Capro does. It just kind of like drags you along to some crazy shit. <laughs> My Pelican army did not protect me. That's crazy.
I should go check out this, uh, this blue shit over here. Maybe I'll find something cool. Ooh, ghillie armor. Yes. Put that shit on. Oh. This is like some swamp stuff. How dare this snake try to sneak up on me? My birds are almost awake. <laughs> this is what happens when the snakes bite you, by the way. You just get knocked out and then you'll die if you have nothing to protect you. So you can imagine, like, you're you're walking around, snake sneaks up on you, all of a sudden, like, shit, and then they just bite you and you get put to sleep in one bite. There we go. There we go, now I can get the fuck out of here. Found the little uh explorer note. I'm not entirely sure how Ferrosinosaurus multi-insis stays populated on the island. It is the Girl. So no pack is that now. I suppose the fact that its sheer power rivals Tyrannosaurus is the only thing that allows this very aggressive, medium-sized predator to thrive. The cause of Ferrosinosaurus is some of the most versatile biological tools I've encountered. As adept at removing trees and foliage from Therizinosaurus path, as they are at piercing the thick shells and hide the island's most defensive creatures if backed into a fight. A tamed Therizinosaurus is one of the most versatile mounts a survivor can have. I have a theory. To use its claws brutally, it's in my base. Allowing the rider to primarily harvest with enhanced efficiency the specific kinds of resources that he or she needs. And in combat, the same claws can pierce straight through the toughest armor. This possibility more than makes up for its inability to carry the large loads of the island's many multiple species of burden. What the fuck is all this hundred spoiled meat? What the fuck? Where did I get a hundred spoiled meat from? Okay, it's getting daytime again. Let me start looking again.
And they fly in the air, right? Like, they're not gonna just be, like, swimming around. They're above the trees? Excuse me? So I should have been looking above the trees? Oh god, that's the bug! That's the bug! That's the bug! Oh my god! It's attacking me out of nowhere! Oh my god, it's freaky! Look at that thing! Come on, birds, kill it. It's freaky looking. What level is it? Um. Uh oh, I'm tired. Oh god. Oh no. Okay, well, I know it's nearby now. That thing was, a uh, freaky looking. What? How did it just sneak up on me? Oh, it needs to get brighter right now. I need to see it. It's too dark right now. It's in this area. In the trees, I think. Where is my dove? Dove, come over here. Okay, um, I saw the bug. I really, uh, would wish if the nighttime shit would go away already. So I can see what fucking gender it is. I don't want to be jump scared again. Oh, there it is. Oh, what? Where is it? Oh, a little fucking bug thing is just following us right now.
Bruh, can the sun come out already? It just like vanished now. Now I have to look for this shit and it's dark as fuck. Oh, oh, I found it. It's dead. So do I eat this thing? I think I ate it. I think one of my birds ate it. That is really big, actually. Let me go see if I can uh, find the insect goo shit inside of one of my birds. Oh, now the sun comes out. I don't know what I'm looking for. I feel like it wasn't a female. Or whatever the hell. Wasn't a male. So now I need to go kill another one. All right. I saw it in this area before, so... I'm just gonna look around this area. He said it flies above trees. Let's hope we can just see one flying around.
actually really want one now. Because I see how big they are. That's kind of cool. There's so much trees here. Do you see this? I don't know if I want them to be more common. I don't want to see like 20 giant bugs flying around trying to kill me. I'm gonna look up where these things are, so just to make sure I don't waste time in certain places. Big ass dragonfly. No, big ass bug. Arc. What the fuck is that? <laughs> the Rhino Natha. Natha. Rhino Nasa is fucking huge. Oh my god. The Rhino. Okay, so it's definitely in this area, like the southern swampy area. It's considered rare. Like we're currently like right at the edge of where it will be. Yeah, this is like the edge of where it'll be. The fact that we actually found one and killed one and we still don't have the fucking item.
they said da, 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 da. I think we're gonna have to go back and hope it respawns. Remember the volcano? That's it. Ooh, those th those are the uh, these are the tower rock thrower. Rock thrower guys. I'm still mad I didn't tame the damn bear. Let's see. Rainio, Natha. Yo, they look crazy. How to spawn the Rhino Natha? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to spawn the Rhino Gananatha oh in God. Ark Survival Evolved. So this is the creature that won the last creature vote. Good which was, it came out like a week or two Does ago. Does he say Gannat? Late to this, but it's we're a gonna really doing the video now. This should work on all platforms. It's I'm a not sure if the Switch has Rhino Gannatha, so it might not work on Switch, but it should work on PC and console. Anyway, the command is going to be SDF Rhino, which is spelled R H Y N I O. Oh, space he's, one he's space just using 50. a command to so spawn it. The SDF command works basically the last number is the one, which I have it set to, makes it to where it's tame. Oh my when it's god, spawned. it looks freaky. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. Anyway, I just want to see someone like hunting it so I can see how it looks flying around. Rhino NASA in the wild. Mr. Quiz, are you? No, bro. Yeah, this shit ugly. This yeah, shit. <laughs> um, right here. Looking forward. I'm. I'm just gonna assume this. Oh, is this bitch is flying around using right console commands and shit. He don't go. Fuck. He's just flying around. Um, right here. <laughs> Right here is like on the Lost Island. Best shot, I'm assuming. I've been everywhere, as you see. Oh, he's on the Lost Island, bitch. I ain't even on that map. Whatever. We just gonna fly around and find this shit again. I'm so sad. We found it, didn't get the item.
Tell me if you see anything. All I know is if I hear some combat music while I'm flying around, I know I found it. Bitch, I'm about to, you know what? I'm gonna just fly around. I don't give a fuck. I don't got time for this shit. I'm about to just fly around, and then when I find it, I'll bring my birds over there. It's like, why do I need to waste my time? <laughs> just looking around on this slow-ass bird that keeps running out of salmon across the When I could just do, oh my god. When I could just do this. And then just look around, and if I find it, I'll just come back to that spot. So this is where I found it before. I found it in this area. I mean, it's not the same thing. This is looking for one that's been naturally spawned. And actually fighting it and all kinds of other shit. I want to find a naturally spawned in bug. All I know is if I find an another one of these bugs and it doesn't drop the thing that I need, I'm just gonna fucking go crazy and just spawn however many I want. Because I don't got time for this.
What if you were just walking around the swamp and you saw that big ass bug come out of nowhere? In real life. <laughs> You're trying to survive and you just find that. You heard that sound that he made? See, that's a Capro. That's the sound when they go on the uh, hunt. Yeah, honestly, I don't fucking see it at all. And I don't got time for this. So, let's see what we got. So he said, Rhino, Rhino Nata spawn video. Video. Quick how to spawn locations. What's this? The Rhino Nafra is finally here, and it's time to show off where they spawn and how to tame them. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. First thing we'll go over is their spawn locations. They can only be found on two maps, Lost Island and the island. So you have to head on over to those maps to find them. You'll normally find them in the swamp or on the edges of the Redwood. This the is, Rhino Nafra is finally is here, and it's time to show off where they spawn and how to tame them. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. First thing we'll go over is their spawn locations. They can only be found on two maps, Lost Island and the island. So you have to head on over to those maps to find them. You'll normally find them in the swamp or on the edges of the Redwoods, and sometimes they do fly into the Redwoods itself. Same with Lost Island, mainly around all the swamps and on the edges of the Redwoods. They are more difficult to find on the Lost Island map, as it is a much bigger a map it seems that only one or two will spawn on the map at a certain time the first thing you'll need in being able to tame one of these bad boys is a Rhino Nafa pheromone, which you'll be able to obtain by killing one in the wild. They spoil within 8 hours inside your inventory, but they can be preserved in a preserving bin for 3 days and a refrigerator for 31 days. The next thing you'll need is a tanky tame, as this giant bug likes to impregnate creatures, and this will make more sense in the next part of the video. I highly recommend the trike as they're very common and easy to tame. Parasers are also very good to use, you basically just need something that can take a good pounding. You are now ready to find yourself a female Rhino Nafa. It does have to be a female. So the Wait, way taming what? works is it's basically going to impregnate your creature just like the Reaper Queen when it impregnates humans. And it's what the, the exact same strategy. You have to get the Rhino Nafa very low on health. Almost to the point of death anywhere below 100 health seems to work what? a treat. So this is the first thing on the agenda. Be careful about using Bro, high this damage is so weapons complicated. they are still quite squishy in the wild. They can be net guns so if you have the Ability to use those it makes this task a lot easier once below 100 health run over to your tame creature force feeding the run in alpha pheromone to your tame creature you'll now see this red aura around it which means it's ready to be impregnated the run in alpha will start attacking it for a little and shortly after it does its animation to impregnate and once the deed is done it will flee and leave you be and now it's on to the incubation what stage the fuck? first of all you will need to keep your creature fed it will drain your creature's food stat at an alarming rate you will also have have to care for it and feed it certain items as the baby will be craving them. This can range from anything and everything. You basically need a stockpile of everything in your base. I've what? had honey, black pearls, soups like focal chili, carcadontosaurus eggs, sweet veggie cakes, acatina paste, kibbles. It's a bit of a mystery of what it actually wants. I'm pretty sure it's anything in the game at this point. But it is quite important to do these cares as it will I ain't doing the any of this. Of baby. <laughs> Once incubation stage is over, it will kill your creature and pop out its belly. Where you oh can claim god. your new ugly bug. Oh my god, it's so it cute. Already be oh my god the color is so good to know that it only takes raw meat to feed it as a baby so that's, that's always good. a good thing and that's pretty much all there is to know about taming one hope the video is helpful to you and where you can claim your new ugly oh bunny. my god it will already be oh my god i love the color it looks like a crab not a crab like a lobster 30 percent matured 
and you'll all be glad to know that it only takes raw meat to feed it as a baby. Okay, but can you, like, breed them afterwards? Like, normal, or what? Can you breed... Rhinionaphids? Rhinionatha taming is an impregnable game indeed, but as you might find out beyond the taming process of obtaining a pheromone from killing one, then feeding it to said creature, reducing the Rhinionatha's health down to below 10%, not 100 health, allowing it to impregnate Thank your feature. Thank you, not 100 health. That he, he, just, he just did a slight to that other guy who said 100 health. <laughs> He said not 100 health, 10% HP, all right. Feed it a series of craving items it requires before the new Rhinionatha is birthed out of your now dead dino. You'll likely find the birthing level, despite the wild Rhinionatha, is considerably lower than it should be. I don't be. care about the level. that's level. because particular creatures are required to get the best possible Rhinionatha. So drag weight applies. I just want to know if you can Giga, if you have two Rhino and Athos, can you breed Bronto them? being the most recommended, with of course the latter being the easiest to tame, breed, and mutate. Because you want to breed and mutate as many Brontos as possibly as you can for your best Rhino Natha. Naturally, you'll be wanting to find a max level female Rhino Natha, and as said, feed a pheromone to your creature and lower her health to 10%. You'll then need five of a long list of different craving items to feed your creature to ensure the best possible outcome. And the requirements are intense. There's eggs such as Quetzal's. How Gibber. is it that Cloud told me to go catch this and all he said was you need to kill it and get an egg? He, like, bitch, how was he going to explain this whole process to me? <laughs> Car cars, <laughs> golden fuck? Hesperonis eggs. Other consumables and recipes, kibbles, veggie cakes, bee honey, soups, battle tartar, shadow steak saute, creature resources like acatina paste, ammonite bile, rhino horns, and even more expensive resources such as absorbent substrate, black pearls, gasoline, and elements. As you'll see in my videos here in ensuring all craving items with a max giga, it popped out and the stats weren't brilliant. It seemed to. I just want one so I can fly stats, around on it. I don't care about how strong all it is. of them. It was quite a lower level, making me try this again. And lo and behold, had different stats. Meaning, even if you're taming a 150 Rhino Natha and want to pass all of the stats from your desired creature, there's still an element of chance because it's like breeding a 225 Giga with a 150 Giga. As you'll notice, as we try with the car car, we start to get the best stats that we want out of it, but not all of them. And again, with the Mega Shalon, noticing that it doesn't only just inherit the stats, but also the colors of the dino it impregnated. Really? And as we move over to our bred mutated so it, like, Brontos, it literally is born from that dino. That needed, which of course makes this so I would a have to sacrifice a dino with pretty colors in order to have a pretty got, colored one. As well as the color passed down. But again, there is a bit of RNG with this, trying to mate a oh plus goodness. 200 creature to a 150 creature. I would have creature. to sacrifice so I thought, a dino okay, of my favorite let's color. Let's increase our odds and clone our most mutated Bronto in the hope that one of them would come out with the best stats, understanding that apparently a Ronin. Bitch, I don't think he hunted all that. More than <laughs> I don't think he hunted that many time. eggs, bitch. So I tried to trap it, and the trap didn't work. It didn't seem to aggro correctly on the creatures. Maybe a trap might appear in the future. Captain Fat Dog, watch this space. But lo and behold, on our second one, we inherited all of the stats. Still not quite the same level, but you'll notice that with the birthed, Rhino Nathas, they don't inherit any movement speed, meaning it's always going to be a lower level than the creature it pops out of. Meaning you've got lower level Rhino Nathas with much stronger stats than possibly any other dino of that same level, if that makes sense. So once again, to summarize, step one, kill a Rhino of any gender to acquire the pheromones. Any gender, Step two, okay. find a high level female. And 
These spawn in the swamps of the island and Lost Island. Step three, lower their health to below 10%. Step four, use the pheromone on your chosen host creature. Step five, Rhino will do a special sting animation, injecting an egg into the host. Gigas, Karkars, and Megashalons work well, but Bronto is the most recommended because it's the most easiest to tame, breed, and mutate. And if you want to make sure you get the best birthed Rhino Nather possible, you're gonna need a long list of things Which at I don't the care ready. About. And on a side note, you can't cryo your creatures when they're in. Can you breed two Rhino Nathas? That's kind of dumb that you can't just breed two of them together. Yeah, I don't got time for none of that, so I'm just gonna... This episode is brought to you... I'm just gonna... what you call it? I'm just gonna tame it by, like, a command. Oh shit, I was just, like, AFK here and all kinds of shit just happened, what? Anyway. Yeah, I'm just gonna go full on cheat mode because I don't have time for none of that. I'm just gonna go summon a Rhino Natha and just fucking t tame command that shit. <laughs> I really don't care. Let's see, what is the commands for this shit? Rhino Natha command. How to spawn. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will quickly show you how to spawn in a tamed and wild Rhino Natha. And like, if you I, keep I, I'm fine making the saddle myself, you know, go, putting the effort for that, but. I want to just have it in the video. I will show you the code for the Ascendant Rhino Saddle. To open the admin command bar section, you want to type Why in the following like buttons all at the same time. To spawn in the Rhino Nata, you want to type in the following code Cheat Summon Rhino Keiter PPC. This will spawn in a random level BPC. Cheat summon Rhino character BPC. Cheat summon. Oh my god, with the old tabbing, it's so annoying. Cheat summon Rhino underscore character. Rhino under under ah character underscore BP underscore C Oh my god there it is Ooey 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 you freaky Anyway um <laughs> Jesus Christ. <sighs> it spawned right on my face. This will spawn in a random level wild rhino. If you then want a tamed rhino, type in the following code. Cheat SDF rhino 169420. 69420? This will spawn in a Tamed Rhino Nata. Are you looking for Wait, what? 69, 420? Are we real about that? 
Oh my god, okay. Okay, relax, get away from me. Okay, what are you? Oh, he's coming. Oh, she's coming, she's coming. She's coming. Look at her. Look at that freak. Look at that freak coming. Oh. Oh, she's going to kill something. So that was a level one. I could just summon like 50 million of those and cause chaos. <laughs> Sarko. There it is. Alright, so anyway. I want to try out this tame one. Cheat SDF Rhino 169. Wait, wait. Oh, shit. Cheat SDF Rhino one one sixty nine four twenty. Oh, my God! Oh, my God, it's so pretty. I have a green one. What the fuck? Level sixty nine four twenty. You piece of shit. Why would you make it 69420? You motherfucker! you 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 troll. You you fucking troll. You made me summon a beautiful one and then it's 69420. Are you serious? Now I have to kill it. Now I have to kill this thing. He <laughs> made me fucking 69420. What? Okay, let me summon one that's normal first. One that's not 69, 420. Let's say one. Oh, this one's cute. Oh, and they're two different genders. Okay, what gender is this? He's gonna come back and I'm gonna tell him I did not fucking do any of that. I like that it's a female and it's purpley and cute. That's cute. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let this thing just roam free. You're gonna just roam free and have your own life, alright? You're gonna be a menace that just kills everything in, in the area. Actually, I could just release him into the wild. And then that would just one-shot me. Anyway, you follow me. I feel like I'm just going to wander around the swamp one day and just find this thing killing me. Level 69, 420. <laughs> God. This is the evil monster of death. Okay, I gotta rename this thing. Wait a minute. We're gonna rename it. Where's the fucking name? Okay, here we go. We're gonna call this... Toximus. So, Toximus is a crazy, freaky legend of the swamp that's going to be wandering around. If we find him, uh, that's going to be interesting. So, we're going to have him... He's going to wander around, and anything that attacks him dies. Okay, he's going to have the lowest possible, the lowest possible, uh, aggro range. 
super low aggro range but he will be aggressive. Oh my god, there's a monster coming. There's a monster coming! Oh my god. Did you see the monster coming? Jesus Christ. Alright, so he's gonna have lowest possible aggro range. Oh god, it's coming. Run. Run. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! No. You piece of shit. Get away from my baby. Get away from my child. Get away from my child! No! You piece of shit! Why am I not doing any damage? Why am I doing no damage? I loved that girl! I'm so mad! Oh my god. Is there a revive command? Wait a minute. Damn it. There's no revive command. I'm so bad. Ah, this piece of shit. Ew. Why is this thing so hard to kill? You piece of shit. You absolute bastard. So anyway, um, that just happened. Why do I feel attached to that poor level one that I just had? It was so pretty. Oh my god, where the hell? Where the hell is Toximus? I can't see shit.
Where the fuck? Oh, here it is. Okay. Toximus. Wait, I can ride on this? Oh my god, I could have rode on her and ran away. Are you serious? <sighs> okay, Toximus. Good luck on your journey. You have the lowest possible aggro range. And you're going to wander around and kill anything that's next to you. Goodbye. Good luck on your journey, Toximus. If I find you one day, I will remember this moment. This is a monster that will one-shot anything that goes near it. <laughs> but they have to, like, literally walk into it or try to attack him. Oh, he's going. Oh, shit, he's going. Oh, <laughs> you see that shit? <laughs> if you get near him, he kills you. And now he's just gonna wander around. Alright, so anyway, let me go get, let me go get my fucking... Uh, my birdies, where they, wherever the hell they're at. Here they are. So I'm going to try to summon another level one. This one is so much less cooler. Can, can this thing just die? Is there a kill command? Kill Dino Command. I have unleashed Toximus, the Great Green Plague. Kill the target, okay. Is it- I just write kill? Yeah. Alright. Goodbye. Let's see, how many... How many will it take for me to get one that I actually want? I'm so mad. I, I wanted that. The one that I had first, the female, she was so cute. Come over here, bitch. Come down here. Don't make me kill you. I don't even want you. Fuck you. Die. Okay. Let's see how many of these. Oh my god. Okay, we're fine. Okay, so... Let's see... How long it takes for me to get one that I actually want. Okay, I don't want that. This is crazy, huh? I'm just gonna keep doing this over and over. Oh! Maybe this one? This one looks kinda cool. Come here.
Can you land on the floor, please? Okay, there we go. Carry character. What is all this? Toggle resin armor. What the fuck is this? Fire resin. Control click. Oh my god. The fuck was that? Oh shit. It is a female. It has a cute colored eye. It's blue and red with purple. With some red. I guess I'll keep this one. And then if I want another one, I'll try to breed for one. Now let's see how how fast it flies. It's literally a helicopter, yeah. Yeah, that's a, that's the only reason I want it actually cuz it looks like a lobster. Looks like a lobster with wings. Yeah, uh, by the way, no, I did not tame it myself. No, I did not breed or any of that bullshit, okay? <laughs> you did not explain to me the amount of bullshit that I was going to have to go through to try to tame this thing. Let me go show you Toximus, the legendary wandering bug of death. Uh, I do I did put it on aggressive it's on it's on really short aggro range wandering aggressive he he is the the final boss to random wild dinos that have the nerve to walk next to him he is a legendary beast of death anything that goes near him dies <laughs> he's level 69 for 20. Because the piece of shit that I watched his video, he told me a command, and it said 69420, and that was the level. So when I spawned it, I was like, what the fuck? Level 69420. Jesus Christ. He's just gonna be wandering around over there. I don't know how far he'll get. But anyway, I spawned a level 1 bug, because I didn't feel like doing that whole breeding system. That was way too much. Now, if I feel like getting another one, I'll try to do it. Because I just want to have one, just to have one.
Because I didn't even get the pheromone. That's some bullshit, by the way. I looked around here for so long, I didn't find any other one. I didn't want to go through all that bullshit. The fact that I have to, like, lower its HP and then do all this other bullshit, like... I don't even have a net gun. I don't have high technology right now. You didn't tell me any of that when you're like, oh, go tame the bug. How are you going to explain all that to me? Why did you set it to wander and not kill the OP bug? What? What are you talking about? Oh, why did why did I not kill the bug? Cuz I think it's funnier to just have it wandering around. It's like a giant green bug called Toximus that's level 69 420 that just walks around. I was going to like release it to the wild, but then I was like, wait, that's a little too much cuz <laughs> I don't want to just be walking around and die instantly to that thing. Oh, it's unaggressive though. It shouldn't die to a Dilo. It kills anything that's next to it. It's unaggressive, but like really like small attack range, so it doesn't just run around killing everything. It kills stuff that comes uh, too close to it. Oh my god, this thing could carry so much weight, what the fuck? I am not unclaiming that, I told you, I don't want to die randomly. I don't want that shit just to be wandering around and just like fucking destroys me in two seconds. This thing has 1200 weight, what the fuck? Oh my god. There's no way they, they're getting me stuck, okay. I want to know in, like, a week from now where that green bug goes. I want to see, like, him wander around. <laughs> and I don't want him to despawn or anything. Also, by the way, why the fuck does this bug have s all these commands at the b bottom left? I'm gonna be around the sw swamp, so at some point I'll be close enough. Like, I'm gonna come back over here to try to tame a bear eventually. I, I, yeah, I know those are attacks. I'm saying why they made it have like 50 million attacks and shit. Is that a T-Rex? Oh, my goodness. There's a female Rex right there. It's a level one bug.
Well, it's level three now. If I lose, oh my god, wait a minute, wait a minute, there's more than one and I might want to tame that, wait a minute. Level 10 female Rex. Is that a, a sheep that's getting murdered? Oh my god, these birds are so annoying. Anyway, I might want to tame that later, so I'm not going to just murder them. Yeah, I know sheeps are rare. You think I could kill that alpha? And not lose dove? Well, how do I control this shit? Fire resin with right click. Yeah, Dove is on passive. I'm just worried he'll fly around like a dumbass. Insufficient resin. Resin. Whatever. Fly up! Okay, one of my birds just died, another one- Oscar just fucking died. Yeah, my whole entire pelican army just died. I'm gonna use my bug for no reason, because my bird, Dove, is gonna die. This is why we don't... we don't listen to where is passive. 
Where's Whistle Passive Hall? This is why we don't listen to Cloud. If I unfollow Dove right now, he's gonna land somewhere and die to some random thing. Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore Cloud now. You told me to fight the Alpha. Please tell me where I can do uh, passive all. Whistle passive all, because that's what I was trying to do. Even if I disengage, all my birds are going to die because they're attacking. That's for one.
Not sure. It'll probably be if they add some, uh, some new creature or something. Probably a while. Until they add some, like, water shit to ascend it or something, then I'll probably play. I'm just waiting for Ashes of Creation anyway, so. Everything else is like a temporary. Because I'm not really into caves. I'm into just breeding. And collecting dinos. And building stuff. I'm not a combat person. I'm not a combat person in ARK. I don't play ARK for the combat. I play ARK for the collection of dinos, for breeding, for taking care of animals, for building things. The same way I don't play Minecraft for combat. Okay? I play different things for different things. Also, I play Overwatch as a healer that primarily heals people. I don't care about bosses. This is why I just don't feel like streaming ARK, because I'm tired of people trying to tell me how to play ARK. Just do this, do this, do this. Oh my god, tame this. Oh my god, go to this cave. Like, I don't need to stream it. I like to relax when I play ARK. We don't have walls, we definitely lose this shit. Ark is not my main game for a reason. It's a side game that I like to chill in. I don't do it for milestones or like doing all kinds of other crazy shit. I just wanna, I wanna build an underwater base. I wanna tame every single underwater dino, that kind of stuff.
it's not just you. I'm talking about most people who came into the fucking stream constantly telling me to do shit. It was annoying. You know how I used to give people fucking attitude all the time. They come in here, the first message they say is like, Go tame this thing! <laughs> yeah, well, when I get to that point, I will kill a boss. I will go to a cave, get the artifact, kill a boss. When I, go, when I get to that point where I'm like, okay, I want to build an underwater base. I need this part. In order for me to get this part, I need to do that. Then I'll do that. But I'm not up to that point yet. I don't even have metal armor. I don't even have metal anything. Like, I need to get to the point where I actually upgrade shit. What the fuck is this continue shit? I'm just waiting there forever and it just has continue. Okay, I'm not going to continue this conversation. I'm in Warhammer now. We're not doing this art conversation over and over and over. Okay, see ya. If Cloud was some random, I wouldn't even be arguing with him at all. I would just mute him and not even bother. But because I actually talked to him for a while, I'm like arguing instead of just ignoring it. Fuck, how many fucking invasions are there? Matic Mar! The Lord Magistrate stands ready.
dragon-blooded Shugunga. Celestial General. For the Imperial Family. Marching to war. Bring this city into camp. The Jade Dragon. Sorcery through me. It is unwise to stray in harmony with the road. Time flows away like water. Need more effectively. It befits my high station. Whatever happened to Haru? She was supposed to be here. Or he was supposed to be here. Dragon stands with you. Oh, my God, three armies. Efficiency and harmony.
I am Tool, the Tool. Eye of the Emperor. Governor, an executioner. Dragon. We are poor. They are rubble. Alchemist of Shangri-La. The iron wind blows through me. No calls more. Keeper of Wuxing. All for dragon speed. Lord of Yin and Yang, I demand their death. Witness their demise. Master of the Meteor Winds. The Dragon's Command. Move like water, fight as one. They will know all. Wind shape. General. The Emperor wills it. Child of the Nile. Fit for a prince. The celestial commands. The 
Jade Dragon. A gift from my ancestors. Onga! An upper hand, indeed. Executioner. All Cathay will thank us. We are Cathay's true bastion. Shaper of the My privilege. Cafe et None may refuse Cathy's call. Upper hand, indeed. Uh. 
Our supremacy is assured. Patience is tried. Death befalls all who enter the magical waters of the Dragon River uninvited. But as the winds of magic flow in Cathayan favor, its ill effects can be harnessed for far more than merely death alone. Natural authority. to war. A fine base of operations. The dragon's love is in doubt. Does require it. Adorn my chamber in finery. Master of the meteor winds. Forbidden elixirs. City Commander. Eye of the Emperor. I will overthrow. 
see the supply train. Servant of the Dragons. For Karen Khan. First among warriors. March with speed. Soldiers of the Dragon, march. Celestial ancestors. Shameless absurdity! The celestial sorcerers trouble me not. Ancestors' spirits grow as Alchemist of Shang Yang. Haru's finally over here. <laughs> My god. You missed uh, Love and Deep Space. A celestial command. Probably gonna play a little bit of Overwatch soon. Before I get off. Serve from the front.
battle is not war is upon us I don't know what the fuck spell intensity means, but it sounds like more damage, so I'm gonna click it. A change from my scrolls. Jade Dragon. Whatever that means. Attention. Such treasures. Spoils of war. I've never had a caravan army this strong before. Okay, right here, I'm going to save and then go to Overwatch. We've done a lot of progress in, like, a short amount of time. We're going to be expanding down this way and down this way. I know, right? <laughs> Shocking. I'm going to actually just play Overwatch. It's because I don't record videos on the weekend, so I didn't play Overwatch today at all. Where'd the audio go? Now, 
traveling to Paris. Prepare your defenses. Select your hero. <laughs> Spend every moment growing. How many hours do I have on life over? Let's go, let's go, let's go. Like two hundred and forty something hours. One more mission, huh? It's Sorry. It's Are you and Roadhog together? Do you ever see us apart? No. I mean, are you a couple? Yes! A couple of dashing roads! Okay, 233 hours. And on Symmetra, I have like 260 something. So I'm still more hours on Symmetra. Exciting times ahead. Everyone hydrated? Oh, they got a widow. Can't have it getting worse. Oh my goodness. What? I need tanks. Spotted an enemy. Some healing. Yeah, I'm trying to get more than my sim. Oh! Hope blossoms in you. I uh, completely uh, did not respect the widow at all, so I just died. Oh, like. Oh my god. Freaking Widow. Let me, I want to kill that Widow so bad, but now she can see me. Stop walking. I'm so mad. Where is this Widow? I want to kill her. Where is this widow? Ew, this fucking orb. Yeah, come find me, bitch. Ew, bitch! Enemy spotted. <sighs> Come fight, bitch! Uh oh, I'm gonna die. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm having fun right now. I'm not playing serious. Spotted an enemy. They broke my pylon. Sorry. Start your engine. Working on your injury. Keep calm. The fight is imminent. Enemy spot. The payload is moving. An enemy here. Face the sun. Oh my god. <laughs> this is how I play when I don't care too much. And I'm just having fun. Spotted an enemy! An unwanted variable! That should do it. An enemy! 
Time for spring. Windborn. <laughs> An enemy here. Care always helps. There, an enemy. Thank you. Hold back and recoup. Hey, over here. I'm on defense. <laughs> Some healing. <laughs> Imagine you could shoot through that with uh, thin projectiles. What is that melody? Life from life. Barrier initialized. Over there. I'm up for you. Barrier is nearly spent. Life protects life. Oh. Enemy here. Nano is that minute. An enemy here. Nice. Take care. Oh, my God, this widow. Come on. After all I just did, this little got a fucking hedge on me. A touch of regrowth. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh my god. Oh, goodbye world. <laughs> well, I tried. Welcome to Quick Play. Play of the game. My game is something to be chaotic as hell. Let's see if I can work on my aim. Welcome to Maladent. Spend every moment growing into who you truly are. Oh, that's hell no. Fuck you, bitch. Got you later. You fucking bitch. Get out of my face. <laughs> Good day. <laughs> Arriving at watch point, Prepare your defenses. Oh my god, we have a life weaver in the game. Oh my goodness. What is this? Uh, that's crazy. Wait, let me see this. 
Brian Gox. Fucking private profile. Fuck you, bitch. Uh huh. Let's see who I want to play. Do I still have? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna do Life Weaver Mercy. So I have settings on Mercy that my right click is switch weapons, and my my damage boost is E. So I'm gonna just play like Life Weaver right now. So I'm gonna mostly be healing and then switching to pistol. What a preposterous thought. When I'm not healing. It is beneath you. I'm literally gonna play exactly like Life Weaver. Take care of each other out there. Literally just heal and then spamming corridor going like this. And then heal. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Oh my god. Oh no, I have the wrong button for res. I have the wrong button for res, my res is V. Shit. Oh my god. I forgot I switched it. <laughs> because I switched the settings. I have to get used to the settings. I haven't done any damage, that's crazy. Fucking dead. Oh, oh, you, you, too far. Fucking bitch. Three seconds, two seconds. Fuck. Okay, well, somehow I lived from that life grip. I don't know. <laughs> he just didn't chase me. Now, 
Come here, and I will heal you. Heroes never die. I am fully focused. Await your fate. Life protects life. We are, bitch. Better fucking run, pussy. Come here for healing. Oh my god. Let's give them one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. I must return Team to my post. Kill. The payload has reached the checkpoint. Ah! Ah! Yeah. Winston report. The payload. Oh. Feel stronger? I couldn't have done better. Oh. Stand behind me, friend. <sighs> Wait, if you press E, it'll just, it'll just do the damages. I don't have to hold left click. What the fuck? Uh oh. Boy, fuck! It's so hard to do the controls like this. I have to press V for res, and it's just like confusing for me. What? I have uh, what? Toggle beam? Did you? Hello, I'm pressing E, right? And it, no, what I'm saying is I'm pressing E, and it just does a beam. I'm used to, I'm used to like, left clicking first and then just changing it into, into damage. I'm not used to just pressing E to do a damage beam like this. It just feels different. Life protects life. I got her. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. I got a direct shot. A full recovery. Like I'm pressing E for damage boost. I don't have it on right click. My right click is swap with it. Like my brain is like thinking differently because it's like on E. It's like a different feeling. Bitch. Checking in. This will help you. Mora's range is kind of crazy.
Oh my god. Oh my god, not this far up blanking. The flank hole. <laughs> Okay, Bob. Okay, Bob. Oh my god. Oh my god, we did it. We survived. The Bob. The Bob. Holy fuck the Bob, though. Holy shit. What the fuck? Holy shit, he held that. <laughs> My goodness. You know what? I'm going to play some Diva. Open Q Diva. Hey. Time to save the world? Game on! Neutralizing Oh, I'm missing everything. 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 Okay. Ooh. Oi. My goodness. Now entering King's Row. Prepare to attack. Select your hero. You ready for some jumping flash? What's up, Jordan? You saw that gameplay of Jumping Flash, right? This really looks like it. Like, this machine, like her driving around, and then she, like, Ooh. <laughs> yes. Ha <laughs> 
It was so fun. They have a Sombra just wandering around here. Where is she at? Bitch! Lucky. I want that Ew, bitch! Yeah, that might be a while, because it came back recently. <laughs> I can't believe I got three. Hello, the pain of the movie. Okay, you fucking bitch. This sombra wants me now. Oh my goodness. No way. The sombra just fucked his entire ult. Okay, I'm the tank now.
Oh my god, we, we can do this. Oh my god, we can do this. Yeah, I play other stuff usually when I'm not recording a video. How did that hit me? Doing it. Oh my god, we did it! Yes. Oh my god, not this bitch getting clear that gave us to be. Oh my god, how? You, the most annoying person in the game, fuck Flua. Who's Flua? <laughs> How dare they say I'm- He's the most annoying- What? I did so much that game, what? I better be the most annoying, what the fuck? Okay, let's look through all these skins and see which one is the most like jumping flash. You see, jumping flash looks like this, but white. They don't have any white skin for this. Kind of like that. White rabbit, okay. Oh, they straight up made her more white. 
on the Overwatch 2 skin. I think so far, like, one of these would be better. Yeah, I think I'll do the away skin. What is this horror music going on right now? I think I'll do this one. My goodness. I think the Overwatch League away skin probably is better, I don't know. Let me see. Does this one have orange on... Oh, this one has orange as well. Yeah. What? The server closed due to unsuspected- what? Huh?
Really? They're gonna play Zarya? Okay. Zarya May versus me? I don't give a fuck. Good, good wall, May. May, Zarya, Moira. <laughs> I can't block half of that shit. I got both supports. Nice. That's one good thing about Zarya is that she can't really put a shield up to protect against my ult. She can only help like at least two people. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> At least we all died together. My team is so good.
Oh no. The game over song. <laughs> the fucking duck rat drive. Where is it? Game over. 
<laughs> oh my god, perfect! <laughs> this is World 6 1. That's what this song is right now. I just saved the fuck out of my mercy right now. <laughs> Use my entire fucking V Matrix for that.
This Mercy must love me right now, honestly. Because every time she's getting focused, I put my D Matrix. Like, I wish I had a diva like me right now. <laughs> when I play fucking Light Weaver. Time they win. Shit. Unless they could hold that, we're gonna lose this one. Oh, Bob! Bob to the rescue again. Shit! They got bashed in now. Oh my god, my team are so good. Oh my god. My team is so good. <laughs> I blocked 7,000 damage. Somehow I did. Somehow the other diva did more damage than me, but I feel like I did well. I blocked 7,000. Man, I remember the old D.Va was so bad. This, this song is so intense. It's it's the boss fight. World 6-3 boss. Aloha Robo. I think it's the final boss too. It's the final boss because it says 6 3 boss and then there's nothing after it, just the end credits. This is the end credits now. So that was like final boss music. That's why it was so fucking intense.
Oh, the double smash! Let's go. He was trying to boot my ass. You saw that? My team, what happened to my team? Okay, good. Watch out for that enemy. Let's go wish. Let's go. Yes, I love my team. Let me go play the music again. Oh. Uh oh. Zero deaths. Fucking Moira. Wait, Baptiste didn't heal me. Excuse me. He actually didn't heal me at all. He made me have one death. The Zarya switch. <laughs> I would have had zero deaths. You let me die. <laughs> you let me die, you fucking bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, I think that was a good amount of Overwatch. And on a good note, <laughs> before I like get tilted randomly, look at all these victories! Oh my god. Diva's fun. All right. Hope you guys enjoy the stream. So yeah.